Welcome to ARLB Reports 3.2, now with TAWS, Runway Awareness, and Obstacle Alerting. By plugging your iPhone into your headset or avionics, ARLB will monitor position, altitude, and provide audible feedback to you without ever opening the app. By using a standard audio cable, many headsets and radio stacks have the ability to accept incoming audio. If applicable and desired, disable radio stack muting so that nothing is missed. Music 1, mute, disabled. Let's take a look at flying with Aero V3.2 using X-Plane 10. To enable support for flight simulators, just tap on Settings. Scroll to the bottom and select Listen for Flight Simulators. The iPad or iPhone must be on the same Wi-Fi network and flight simulator enabled to send GPS data for this to work. AeroV supports X-Plane 10, Prepare 3D by Lockheed Martin, as well as Flight Simulator 10. In settings, we can also toggle certain types of enunciations and background monitoring we would like. For example, to disable TAWS, tap Terrain. To be alerted anytime GPS becomes unresponsive for a period of time, make sure GPS unavailable is turned on. This is useful to know since GPS is required for many features. If we're flying a pressurized aircraft, enable depressurization detection. AeroV will utilize the barometer, if so equipped, to detect a significant cabin pressure change. We cross-check against GPS altitude to reduce false alarms during climbs. By default, the GPS altimeter will be used for detecting terrain and obstacles. If your iPad or iPhone has a built-in barometer such as the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPad Air 2, or iPad Mini 4, tap Vero. If you're using your barometer, it's important to set your altimeter just as you would in your aircraft. You will find the Vero altimeter in the bottom toolbar. Just tap the plus and set the altitude to your aircraft's altimeter in feet. To remind you to reset your altimeter periodically, it's a good idea to hit the OK button to verify the altimeter matches. If you forget to set this for a long period of time, we'll remind you since it's used for train and obstacle detection. Finally, hit the Save button in Settings, and now we should be receiving GPS information from X-Plane. Let's plan a quick flight from Payne Field to Seattle. Notice the Monitor Status tool in the bottom toolbar. This is a final check AeroV is operating and ready to provide audible feedback to you in the background. Include this in your pre-taxi checklist. Notice the status indicates flight timer stopped. This is telling us if we close the app, it will not background. To conserve battery life, the app will only background if you're already flying or have started your flight timer. Let's find flight timer and hit start. The monitor status now shows a green check mark indicating it's ready to go. To test our audio connection to our headset, just tap the test button. We should hear a test recording on our headset. Audio test. All checks okay. Let's taxi out to runway 16 right at Payne Field. We're not going to fly this very well so that we can take a look at some alerting features. Entering runway 16 right, 34 left. Aerovi is constantly monitoring your 3D trajectory of position based on time. The faster the ground speed or change in altitude, the further out conflicts will be detected. AeroV also monitors proximity to runway environments to reduce false positives and decrease required altitude and proximity distances required. Let's trigger a significant vertical speed alert from this position. Notice from that altitude a significant vertical speed was required. Closer to elevation, the tolerances become much tighter. Let's head towards some terrain and see what happens. Terrain. Terrain. Now let's head back to Payne Field and look at some runway environment features. Let's try to pick up an obstacle alert on the way back. AeroV will monitor obstacles relative to your position in a look forward manner and give you the type of obstacle, height, and MSL, and range. Obstacle, 
5.2 miles, 595 feet. Heading up for runway 34 left, but we're flying this approach way too low. As a further check, AeroV evaluates runway elevation relative to position and altitude. If we're at a very low angle relative to the runway elevation, a too low alert is issued. Too low. Terrain. Obstacle. Tower 1.8 miles. 811 feet. Tower 2.0. When TOS is enabled, you will also receive a 500 foot callout AGL from your runway environment. Here is an example. 500. I hope you've enjoyed a look at AeroV Reports 3.2. Please remember these tools are designed for increased situational awareness only and are subject to many errors that may render them inaccurate or delayed.